Good evening, boys and girls. Tonight's lesson is lesson 4.3, Interpret Remainders. Our essential question is, how can you use remainders in division problems? Tonight, we're going to be working on page 73 in your Go Math book, so I need you to go ahead and write down this essential question at the top of page 73. How can you use remainders in division problems? Go ahead and do this now. We are going to start with a word problem that is not in your Go Math book, so I would like you just to watch and listen. The word problem says, students are driven to soccer games in vans. Each van holds nine students. How many vans are needed for 31 students? Well, I know my division problem is going to be 31 divided by 9 because I have 31 students and we need to put 9 students in each van and we need to find out how many vans are we going to need. So 31 divided by 9 is our problem. Now, I can list my multiples of 9 until I get close to 31 or I can draw a picture to help me visualize the word problem. I think I'm going to draw a picture because I can use vans and students to help me figure out the answer. So I know that there are going to be nine students in a van. So I'm going to start drawing my nine students and I'm going to put them in a van. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here's one van. We need to get to 31 students. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I have another van. Now I need to know how many students do I have so far? Well, I have two vans and there are nine students in each van. 2 times 9 is 18. I'm not at 31 yet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Here's another van. I have three vans and nine students in each van. 3 times 9 is 27. I am very close to 31. Let me see how many it takes me to get to 31. How many more students do I need? So I'm at 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Now, do I have enough students to make another van? Well, it says that there are nine students that go into a van. So these four kids are my leftover students. They are my remainder. So what is my answer to 31 divided by 9? Well, it's 3 with a remainder of 4. So that is my answer to 31 divided by 9. 9. 3 with a remainder of 4. But remember, our question is asking us, how many vans are we going to need for 31 students? Well, this is where we interpret the remainder. We are going to see, well, I have four students left over. Now, I can't leave those four students out. They need to go with the rest of the students to wherever they're going to. So, wouldn't we need an extra van for these four students? Yes, we would. So since there are four students left over, four vans are needed to carry 31 students. Those four extra students cannot fit into this van. So we need to, needed to get a another van for them. So that is how we interpret the remainder. We're going to see what can we do with our remainder of four kids. So how many vans do we need for, 40, for 31 students? We need four vans. Okay, boys and girls, we are going to start with number two in your Go Math book. Now, we're going to be jumping around a lot in this lesson, so I want you to put a star next to the questions that we are going to work out together. So put a star next to question number two. Let's read question number two. It says, a teacher has 27 students in her class. She asks the students to form as many groups of four as possible. How many students will not be in a group? So I can tell that this is a division problem because we have 27 students 
and we need to divide them into groups of four. So let's find out what 27 students divided by groups of four is going to be. Now I can draw a picture to best model this problem. So I'm going to start and I'm going to put my students into groups of four. Now remember I have 27 of them. So I'm going to start and say one, two, three, four. There's one group. And if I kept going, with my model and adding students in groups of four. So far I have one, two, three, four, five, six groups of students with four students in each group. Well, six times four is 24. Now remember, I have 27 students. So if I keep going to get to 27, I would say, 25, 26, 27. Now, these students do not make a group of four. There are only three students here. So, how many groups does she have? She has one, two, three, four, five, six groups of students with a remainder of three students. So how many students will not be in a group? Three students will not be in a group of four because that is how many students I have left over. Okay, let's look at number three in your Go Math book. Let's draw a star by number three. Number three reads, a sporting good company can ship six footballs in each carton. How many cartons are needed to ship 75 footballs? So we are going to have to find if we have 75 footballs and six footballs can go into each carton, how many cartons do we need? So my problem is 75 divided by the six footballs that go into each carton. So I can draw 75 footballs and put them into groups of six, but that would take me kind of a long time to figure that out. I could do my multiples of six. That might take me a long time to get to 75 though. Now, I'm going to use a little bit of mental math to figure out what is close to 75 divided by 6. I know that 6 times 10 is 60. Oh, I got really close to 75 pretty fast. Well, let's keep going. What's 6 times 11? 6 times 11 is 66. Oh, I'm really close. 6 times 12 is 72. Now, I'm going to stop right there because 6 times 12 is 72. Now, if I go 6 more, I'm going to go past 72 and my 75. So, I'm going to stop right there. And I know that we're going to need 12 cartons but that only has 72 footballs. I have 75 footballs that I need to ship. So 72, let's see how many footballs are left to get to 75. 72, 73, 74, 75. That leaves me with a remainder of three footballs, okay? Now, I know that there's going to be 12 cartons for 72 footballs, but then I have this extra three footballs that need to be shipped. Now, your answer would be 12 remainder of three for 75 divided by six, but we need to ship six, 75 footballs. This is where interpreting the remainder really comes in handy. I wanna know what am I going to do with these extra three footballs? Well, I need to ship those. So they're going to need to go in their own separate carton. So really, I'm not going to have 12 cartons. I'm going to have 13 cartons. 
because since I have 75 footballs that I need to ship, these extra three footballs need to be shipped as well, but they don't fit into the other containers. They need their own container of themselves. So instead of 12, I'm going to have 13 cartons. All right, boys and girls, let's look at number six in your Go Math book. We are going to draw our star next to number six. Let's read number six. It says, Joanna has 70 beads. She uses eight beads for each bracelet. She makes as many bracelets as possible. How many beads will Joanna have left over? So I know that she's going to start with 70 beads. And she's going to use eight beads for each bracelet. So really, I wanna know how many bracelets is she going to make, and then how many beads will she have left over? So this is a division problem, so I'm going to say 70 divided by the eight beads she's going to use for the each bracelet. Now, I need to know what is 70 divided by eight? Well. I could draw a picture, but that would be 70 counters that I would need in my picture. That's too much. I think I'm going to use my multiples of 8 to figure out what something times 8 is close to 70. So let's count by 8s. We have 8, 16, 24, 36, 48, 56, 64, I'm really close to 70, and 72. Oh, I just went past 70. I can't do that. So I know I'm going to have to stop at the 64. Well, let's count how many multiples did it take me to get close to 70. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 70 divided by 8 is 8, but I only got to 64. I need to get to 70. Let's count how many more it would take me to get to 70. 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. So that is a remainder of 6 until I get to 70. Now, it's asking me the question, how many beads will Joanna have left over? Well, she know, we know that she's going to make eight bracelets, but she's going to have six beads left over that she cannot make another bracelet with. So how many beads will she have left over? The answer is six. Your homework problems are on page 74. Remember that you are only doing numbers 1 and 2. Okay, boys and girls, when you get finished with your homework questions, I would like you to assess yourself. Please tell me if you are a level 1, level 2, level 3, or level 4. Write down your level at the bottom of page 73. Have a good evening, and we will see you tomorrow in class. Bye!